Hi, my name is Patrick, and this is my story. I grew up in the church. My dad's a pastor. My grandparents are missionaries. I made a profession of faith when I was eight years old, and I was baptized. And I really spent my whole life trying to fit into the culture that is the church. And I think that we have a way of talking, we have a way of acting, we have a way of, of, of needing to, to, to convey that everything is okay, that we have it all together, even if we don't. You know, I spent a lot of years searching for, for purpose, for meaning, and you know, I got a great education, I got, uh, I've, got a, I've got a great job, I've got a successful career, I've got a wonderful family, I'm married and I've got two beautiful kids. And, you know, by the world's measure, yeah, I'm a pretty successful person. But all of those things still didn't give me the thing that I was looking for, the, the part of me that I felt was missing. And I spent a lot of time and a lot of energy trying to find that on my own. And what I came to realize is that I was just pursuing what I wanted to do, my own selfish desires. And after 33 years of pursuing myself, God allowed me finally to reach the end of myself. You know, I realized in, in this pit of despair as a result of my selfishness and my sin that that I needed Jesus. And I was standing in my backyard and I was looking up at the stars and I was weeping and I was, I was, I was really in a dark place and, I, and I, I cried out to God and I said, I surrender. And in that moment of surrender and, and when, I, when I truly gave my life to Christ, not just, not just knowing the answers, not just knowing the, the, the prayer to pray, not just you know, going through the motions, but truly surrendering myself to Christ. I found that freedom. I found that answer that I was looking for for so long. And the fulfillment that I've gotten from that and the peace and the, and the joy and the, the happiness and from that is, is unbelievable. I, I can't I, I can't even, I can't even, it's hard to even express with words um, how different my life is now. And what I want to convey is that it doesn't matter how long you've been going to church, it doesn't matter how long you've been going through the motions and thinking that you have it together and letting the world think outside that everything is okay. It doesn't matter if you've been standing up on a stage playing music for a year unless you've truly surrendered yourself, your whole self, not just, not, not just part of yourself, to Christ. You won't have the freedom that I feel now for the first time. So if you've, if you've been playing church, if you've been pursuing success by the world's measure, if, you've, uh, if you're in a dark place and you're not sure where to turn, I wanna encourage you to, to look at Look at yourself and look at what you're, what you're searching for. Look at, look at what you're pursuing. And if it's not Christ, there's freedom in surrender.